So my name is Jean Adams. I'm a senior university lecturer in dietary public health uh, at the University of Cambridge in the UK. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, what led to your research interest in dietary public health interventions? Well, food really interests me because it's such an everyday thing. So everybody eats, everyone has experience of selecting foods, of preparing food, of dealing with situations where you can't get the food you want or the food you want isn't the food that you think that you maybe should want to maximize your health. And so that normalness of food and eating really um, appeals to me and helps me make sure that my research is really grounded in real life and that really can, everyone can appreciate what I do. And I really like that I do something that I can explain to everybody. And obviously I, like most people, like eating. So it's also something um, that I'm personally interested in. So that it's the, the, the normalness of diet is what attracts me to that. So my work focuses on population interventions for dietary public health. And I think that I perhaps could say that Jeffrey Rose's book really changed my life. I read it when I was an undergraduate student at uh, medical school. And it just had this massive impact on me. It seems so wildly intuitive that population interventions should be more effective than high risk interventions. And then when I um, moved into public health research, whilst we were still talking about that and teaching our students that, it seemed to me that most research didn't really embody that, that most of our research and our interventions that we were developing and evaluating were really high risk interventions. And um, so I guess I kind of went along with that for quite a long time because, you know, that's what my teachers were, my mentors were um, kind of uh, informally encouraging and supporting me to do. And then I had a, a occasion to reread Jeffrey Rose's book um, maybe about five years ago. I was preparing for a job interview and it really struck me again like it had when I was an undergraduate, how very important this stuff was. And that I think was the moment where I sort of promised myself that I wouldn't uh, let myself again be sucked into high risk interventions and that I would really try and focus hard on exploring this theory that population interventions are more powerful. And so my research has focused in that area since. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Well, could you just say a little bit about what your favorite part of your work is? Um, yes, there's lots of things that I find hard about research and um, it's, it's often difficult and it's challenging. It's difficult to really identify the right research questions. It's difficult to find funding to support those questions, support answering those questions. Sometimes it's just difficult to execute, to get the right data, to get access to the right people when you need them. And that's all, can be all very downheartening. And I think that what keeps me going, what gets me into the office in the morning is I work with really great people. And I think really my favorite bit is having conversations with really bright, engaged, thoughtful people and talking through the current challenging situation that we have I'm feeling at the end of an hour or two hours that we've got somewhere that's not just a solution, but that might, um, might be genuinely new, might be genuinely insightful. And those conversations, I feel, give me the biggest buzz, much more than, you know, that slightly, um, uh, it can sometimes feel a, um, like when you publish your paper, you should be very excited by it. And actually you're often just really exhausted by the whole process. And so that often doesn't excite me very much, but what does excite me is those moments when we're sitting around our, uh, in our meeting room, which is a little bit dingy, um, needs a coat of paint, has a <laughs> really rubbish view onto a brick wall. And yet we're having the most, I think, change the world conversations here. Oh my, what a pleasure. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for the interview. Yeah, you're very welcome.